Hey, what's up everyone? One Tech Traveler here with another video for you and we're going to be doing a gear load of the Manfrotto NX Messenger Bag. Now, if you haven't yet seen the video where I walked you through and did a review of the bag, you can go ahead and check it out on my channel. Otherwise, we're going to, uh, I'm going to take this over to the table and load it up. Let's go! few bits that I would normally take out on a trip or uh, an adventure away and let's see how it stacks up. So what I'm going to do is open up the bag and I've got my cubicle here and what I'll do is put the main parts first so we'll open up the laptop compartment. I'm going to take my surface book which is a 13.5 inch and fits in easily and comfortably and just strap that away. I've also got my uh, Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2. Gonna collapse that all the way down, and then we have a little mesh side here, and I'm just going to stick two of them in. Fits a lot better with the uh, Pixie Mini, but you can fit that like that. And I'm gonna work on the cubicle now. Gonna put this one there for now. Let's see how fast we can do this. So I have some batteries here. What I like to do is put the chargers in here. So these are external chargers that I bought from Amazon. Really great and does the job. As well as the charger. And that will just fit in that compartment like so. You can close that off easily and then now I can put my camera. So I have my Sony A7 with a 28 by 70 millimeter kit lens. And all I need to do is face it the right direction and then I will place it in this way. So just like so. And then I would have the cubicle on the hand lift part so when I'm going in, I can just easily take it out like that. And you can see it fits easily. Take my bag and put that in the cubicle and then got plenty of batteries. I'm gonna actually just place that out on the front here. So as I mentioned this usually is a area that I'll be able to put extra batteries in when I need a new one. Now let's not forget all of your normal stuff as well. So hand cream, lip balm, they were also just the parts that I had around. Um, I'll probably put the more smaller and less needed stuff at the front so I can just put my USB and my Microsoft branded pen. Put that in there. I've also got a bottle, so let's put that bottle in this compartment here so you can see it can still fit all of that. Got a Xiaomi 10,400 milliamp battery power bank. And I'm gonna place that in one of the mesh compartments here. So you can see just there, place that, and that's done. And then normally I'd, if I'm going on a full breakaway, then I'd also bring my RX100 uh, Mark III that's uh, recording right now. But I'll just, uh, I've got this uh, official Sony case that I will just uh, put on the side. So I've still got some cavity there. Mouse, when I'm working away, and then also, this is a, my awesome travel companion, uh, my Sony Xperia Z Tablet Compact. Um, that I can either put on the front, and it's still accessible at the front, or I can put it in the laptop section. Um, I put it either or, but this I like to, oh, we'll put it at the front. So it fits a lot more comfortably and easily, and that is an 8 inch laptop. And nearly there, I mean, I've got a travel charger, so this one just simply from Ikea and it has three USB ports um, and then also my cable. So this is the cable for the power bank, but also, you know, I could bring an additional amount because of the amount of gear that I've got. So that would just fit in between like so. And that's all I've got. And I can also, I've still got room, you know, if I want to bring my laptop charger, then I can do that. But otherwise, you know, Pretty well set up, and um, 
you know, whatever load you want to bring, you can bring some clothes, but this, if I'm just going on a day trip somewhere and want to work away, then this will be my bag. And as you can see, it's nice and snugly. Because it's a pretty spacious bag anyway, you actually find it fits very well. And then I can carry it like so. And because of the base then, you know, if I'm putting it down, I'm not going to be too much worried about the expensive gear because they're well padded out um, and also the cubicle. So in five minutes, being able to put all of that in this bag and I could put a lot more um, if I needed to, um, but you can already see actually it's a pretty versatile uh, travel companion bag for the day. And then whenever I need to, normally be able to just open this up and if I want to get my water bottle, I can do that. No need to lift up the, fl the flap. Or if I decide I want to take my uh, camera out, what I normally do is have the removable cubicle zip undone, like that. And then sometimes I would either fold it back or I'll just have it, you know, it's open. So go in here, lift up the flap, and then I can take my camera straight from there and away we go. And here is the finished gear load. So you can see I've got my laptop at the back, my cubicle which houses everything around my DSLR camera. Here's my charger, also my RX100 uh, case and camera down below. A bottle for adventures as well as my uh, handheld uh, monopod or table tripod. The front gets a bit more compressed um, but you've got my monobank my power bank, the mouse, as well as my tablet there. So that is my gear load of the Manfrotto NX Messenger bag. If you have any questions about what other kind of gear you want to put in um, or whether they will fit, you know, by all means, simply uh, put your comments down below in the comment section. Really look forward to hearing about it. But that is my gear load. Thanks for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, but until then, stay curious and stay awesome.